Oh boy, talk about a cliffhanger. What's up guys, we're back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Stadium. In the last episode, we narrowly beat the Elite Four because of, you know, stupid mistake I made with Lance and... Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. It was a pretty tense match. But anyway, um, yeah, the champion here that we're going to have to face is none other than our rival. And uh, the rival has a pretty diverse team. So, can his team be at ours? I freaking hope not, because I spent a lot of time figuring out what would be good against the Elite Four. I don't want to have to, like, figure out what would be good against the rival. And boy, the rival is going to be a pretty tough match, I have to admit. So, it all comes down to this. Am I going to become the champion of Gym Leader Castle? Well, one can only hope. One can only dream. One can only face his ultimate destiny! See all that build up I made? I'm proud of myself. Wow. When I, uh... When I said he had a diverse team, I uh, didn't know it was that diverse. We have a fire type, water type, grass type, uh, electric type, bug type, normal type. Oh my god. Uh, luckily, we have a dual Pokemon here. Uh, Starmie has Bubble Beam and uh, Thunder, which I think is the only good that we can do as far as like figuring out like what Pokemon would be good for like what multiple Pokemon here. I think, let's see, Ground would be good against Executor and Electabuzz, but sadly I don't have any Ground type Pokemon with me. Hypothetically I, I could have used Marowak. Because I never use exa or I never use like Victory Bell at all, so I kind of regret that now. But uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, never mind. Uh, Alakazam has a, a, a dig, so that's good. And I believe we are going to use Jolteon as well. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we can use Jinx? Wait, what was the last one I selected? Oh, Jolteon. Uh... No, yeah, yeah let's do that. Alright, Jinx, Alakazam... F***ing hold on. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, hold on. Starmie, Alakazam, and Jinx. Right? Right? Alright. Alright. Wish me luck, guys. This is indeed probably going to be even more tense of a match than uh, Lance was. But then again, Lance was only tense because I'm f***ed up royally. But any anyway, uh, let's do this. This is truly it! The final battle against the rival! This is the final act in a long and arduous quest in the Gym Leader Castle! Ah, uh, man, could you like... Oh! I use bubble beam. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Here's the first one. It's yeah, I knew that was gonna do that much. Oh sh! No, 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 no. no. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, no excuses. Definitely gonna switch out Starmie with Jinx. Here's a Pokemon. All right. Yeah, this is very tense. You got me friggin' pressing buttons like faster than I should. Watch out! Oh, Jinx, hang in there. Yeah, you hung in there pretty good. Change the flow of battle. All right. Yes. Yes. Ah. Oh. Wait. It's probably gonna. No, 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 no,
This is a fight between two different oh. types of Pokemon. Oh boy. Alright, at least I get to go first here. Okay. I have no idea what's gonna be after this. Oh boy, I'm so uh, my hands are starting to sweat again. That's a really bad sign, right? Oh, it's Pinsir! Oh, okay. We got a Pinsir bug type. Oh boy. I am so freaking tense right now. It's like. What's that? Oh boy. Oh. Okay, good. You you go do that. You go increase your stats while I kick the out of you. Oh boy. I am so intense right now. What will it do? And if you're probably Okay, I have no idea if like ground Pokemon are great Oh I don't know if... Oh, he's probably gonna take me out right here. Oh I have no idea if like Dig is, or I have no idea if like ground Pokemon or ground type moves are good against bug types. Maybe that is, maybe that is the case. I don't know. I'm not taking any chances to find out. Holy sh! Oh my God! What is it? Oh, thank Christ! It's Electabuzz. Because I could do this. Now I can use Dig. Holy sh! I was picked like. Whatever was on the bottom of the sea, or what was like sea down. Holy! <laughs> and I'm glad I avoid that. Oh my God! I might have. This might be it. This might be the finishing blow here. Come, boom! All right! Woo! All right! We beat the rival. Yeah, look at the announcer. <laughs> Even he's celebrating with me. Yeah! F you, Gary! Woo! Alright! Woo! -hoo -hoo! And here's where my Pokemon get inducted into the Victory Palace. Do do do! Oh, what is this now? Squirtle! Receive Squirtle. Please go to Professor Oak's laboratory and receive your Pokemon now. Yeah, I forgot to mention, when you beat Gym Leader... Well, it's been a while since we actually been to the screen, actually. Uh, when you beat the Gym Leader Castle, you uh, receive a Pokemon gift. It can be a Charmander, it can be a Squirtle, or it could be a Kabuto. It might be a Bulbasaur too, but that might be like when you beat uh, the Pika Cup or the Poke Cup here. Or I don't know. But also when you beat Gym Leader Castle. Um, that's also where you get the Dojuo Game Boy Tower. And uh, this is basically where you unlock uh, a new ability. Which lets you speed up your uh, game while you're playing. And this is basically running shoes, only it's like running everything faster than before. So maybe hypothetically, this is a really short episode, but man was it freaking tense. Holy shit, with that beginning, I thought I was gonna f***ing lose for sure. Oh my god, my heart was in my stomach there. But anyway, let's go to the Pokemon Lab and receive our Squirtle. Oh, but the question is, who am I going to give it to? Jack, why not? I'll give it to Jack. I was entrusted with a Pokemon for you. 
It's in this Pokeball. Take good care of it. Put, uh, take the ball and tell me where you want to put it. I will put it, um... I will put it in the box, apparently. Or, uh, hold on, let me choose a box. I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. Right on the refrigerator. And it's a level 5 squirrel? Oh, f*** off with you. Uh, save and quit. So, yeah, every time you beat Gym Leader Castle, you receive a prize Pokemon. And you get to put it in your Game Boy. Like I just did. But let's go to the Victory Palace and see what it's all about, huh? Now, keep in mind, let's see. Um, now I forgot what Pokemon we entered in with. Some of these Pokemon I already, like, have inducted into the Hall of Fame already. We didn't use Clefable, we did No, we didn't. Uh, I'm trying to find one that we actually did use. Oh, here we are. Alakazam, Hall of Fame, Gym Leader Castle. And here's Victory Bell, Gym Leader Castle. That's two. Uh, oh, Cloyster, Gym Leader Castle. That's three. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Sarmi. Uh, Gym Leader Castle, that's four. Ah, there you are, Jinx. Gym Leader Castle, that's five. And where's the last one? Jolteon, Gym Leader Castle. Alright, now that we got to take a look at our Pokemon, let's take a look at the stadium. Alright, now here's final. Here's the part where we finally go over the rules for um, Poke Cup, Pika Cup, Prime Cup, and uh, Pika Cup. Now, you'll notice that there is a missing trophy in Poke Cup. That is because it is probably the hardest of all of the cups in Master Ball here. Now, let's see. We already know that. The Prime Cup and the Poke Cup have four different tournaments, right? Right. Now over here we have two that are basically their own standalone thing. Uh, let's go over the Pikachu Cup. It is a tournament with many cute Pokemon, but don't let your guard down. You will be tested. Let us go over the rules of Pikachu Cup. And trust me, there are a lot of rules here. The blue panels are the qualifying Pokemon, of course. Oh, it just shows you all the qualifying Pokemon. Never mind. Uh, classic rules. Enter in with six Pokemon. Choose three out of the six in each battle. Levels 25 to 30. Pokemon of levels 25 through 30 may be used. If you don't have six Pokemon, you may add rental Pokemon. Uh... The combined levels of the three poke, uh, the combined levels of the three battle Pokemon may not exceed 80. So that means like you can't just enter in a battle with just like level 30 Pokemon. You know what I mean? That's like almost overkill right there. Even though it's like you're only you know overpowering yourself by a little bit, but you have to do at least a bit of math before you enter in your Pokemon, or at least the game will let you know. But, uh, anyway, the height of the Pokemon may not exceed 6 foot 8. Likewise, the maximum allo uh, allowable weight is like 44, uh, 44 pounds. Unevolved Pokemon only. So this gives the chance for unevolved Pokemon to be the stars here. Of course, there's a classic rule, no, po uh, no two Pokemon asleep or frozen. Mew cannot attend. Mew can only be used for the Gym Leader Castle, the Prime Cup, and free battle. So that, those are the only times where you can use Mew. Uh, when you capture Mew using some sort of glitch or whatever, or however you get Mew, it always starts out at, I think, level 7. So, you know, Mew, if it, if it could enter in uh, Piquet Cup, it would. But the thing is, they know it's a pretty rare Pokemon, and they know it's rare for a reason. 
So, yeah, joke's on you guys. You can't use Mew here. Which is so dumb. Because it's an achievement in and of itself just to get Mew. Why can't Mew attend? It's bull. And of course, like I said uh, in the first episode, you earn a continue for every battle won without a fainted Pokemon. If you have a continue, you may try again after losing a uh, battle. So yeah, it just gives you a free continue if you lose a battle. No self-destruct move with last Pokemon. We already went over that rule back in Gym Leader Castle. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go over the rules of the Pika Cup. A cup tournament open to the lowest level Pokemon. Strategy is the key here. Oh boy, strategy really is a key, isn't it? Alright! Uh, enter in with six Pokemon, choose three out of the six Pokemon. You may use Pokemon levels 15 to 20. Uh, maximum of three Pokemon must, uh, cannot exceed over level, uh, cannot exceed a uh, total of 50. No two Pokemon to sleep for a frozen, Mew cannot attend, uh, blah 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 blah. So basically, it's just a tournament for the lowest level Pokemon, so unlike the Piquet Cup where it has a bit of a catch to it, and it's very, 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 uh, sort of, uh, decisive on what Pokemon you use, all you, all you need is just, like, po Pokemon that are level 15 to 20. So, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good deal if you just want to use Pokemon that, you know, you have in your you know, uh, Poke uh, the Pokemon boxes in your, uh, save data. So, at least it gives them a chance to, si uh, chance to shine here. So, that's always good. So, uh, anyway, let's go over the Prime Cup rules. The ultimate tournament without level restrictions. Let it all hang out. Let it all hang out. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's go over the rules because, to be honest, there are not that many in Prime Cup. Open to all Pokemon. Enter in with six Pokemon. Choose three out of the six Pokemon. No level restrictions. Only two Pokemon can be. Uh, no two Pokemon can be a Slipper Frozen. Can it continue for every perfect match? And no self destruct move with uh, last Pokemon. And that's basically about it. Unlike the Gym Leader Castle, if you do have Pokemon that are level. Uh, that are level 100, um, go ahead, feel free. If you have Pokemon that are just level 100, go ahead and put them in. Because the rental Pokemon are already all at level 100. Let me show you. Look at all these Pokemon. They're all leveled up. They're all maxed out. They're all like rare candied up. That's my censored way of saying, you know, steroid up. Or roid up. Or fit Drugged up. There you go. So they're all drugged up, ready to go, they're ready for you to pick them. But uh, anyway, uh, it's basically a cup that barely has any rules at all. However, the Poke Cup also has a, some rules, not a whole lot. Let's go with the rules here. There are only 149 Pokemon that can be entered here. There's no Mew, uh, Mew or Mewtwo. So, you can enter in with six Pokemon. Choose three out of the six Pokemon, as always. Uh, Pokemon levels from 50 to 55. And the maximum three Pokemon level total must be 155. If you exceed it, Cannot enter battle. Uh, no two Pokemon to sleep were frozen. You cannot attend. Get a continue for every perfect match and no self destruct move with last Pokemon. And I should probably clarify right now on why Mewtwo cannot attend some of these. Uh, uh, some of these. Uh, what's it called? It, tournaments. Mewtwo cannot attend for one specific reason. Uh, when you catch Mewtwo out in the wild in Cerulean Cave, it's at level 70. If by any chance you have a Mewtwo that's, uh, you know, level 1 or level 7, if you buy, if you had any, if you had, 
you know, any hacking skills whatsoever and actually did that to a Mewtwo, then, yeah, the game still gets you at that because, you know, even though you do capture Mewtwo at level 70, you still can't enter in Mewtwo because it, the game, I think, is programmed that, uh, like that. Although I'm pretty sure if you do unlock Mewtwo, you get to unlock him uh, to enter in these tournaments. But because I didn't complete this game all the way, I don't have Mewtwo unlocked. So, yeah. But anyway, for now, Mewtwo is blocked off from my game, aside from Prime Cup, uh, Free Battle, and Gym Leader Castle. So anyway, I'm going to leave it off at that. These cups... Um, have eight battles each. Each one to represent each badge that you've collected throughout your entire Pokemon journey in the Game Boy games. There are eight different battles, and however, you have to be prepared for all of them. Unlike Gym Leader Castle, you have to have a straight up master team with you. You have to be prepared for any, any Pokemon. Whatever situation, you must have a complete diverse team. And that is why I'm training one right now. I'm also training one for the Pika Cup and the Pika Cup. But the question is, what cup am I going to start out with? I'm just basically going to go from left to right. I'm going to start off with the Pika Cup first, and then go over to the Pika Cup. After that, I'm going to do the Prime Cup, and the epic conclusion, where I may, or may not, finally earn the Master Ball Trophy for Poke Cup. So, this is going to be quite the thing to catch on tape when I do beat Master Ball. So anyway, I am probably not going to be uploading for quite a bit because I still have yet to work on editing out all the other Pokemon episodes. At this time of recording, I just released episode 1. And, uh, yeah, I already got my work cut out for me at this point. So, whenever I get back to recording, I am definitely going to tackle the Pikachu Cup. But first, I need to edit the remaining... I need to edit the remaining parts of Gym Leader Castle, and I also need to work on assembling a master team in order to take on the Pika Cup and the Pika Cup, as well as assembling a Master Team for Prime Cup. Although I'm pretty sure you pretty much already know what two Pokemon I'm going to use in order to win over the Prime Cup. That's right, this is the chance where you actually get to see Mew and Mewtwo both in battle. It's going to be epic, I'm telling you, uh, but I'll get to that when I get to that. So anyway, I'm going to still assemble a Master Team for a Poke Cup because that's my main priority with Red right now. I'm going to take a look at whatever else I need to look at as far as entering my own Pokemon in the Pika Cup goes and entering or taking a look at whatever Pokemon that I need to look at to enter into the uh, Pika Cup. Because, let me tell you, sometimes when you level up your Pokemon, Sometimes it could be a uh, the uh, it could be a bit carried away, and you might accidentally instead of leveling up your Pokemon up to maybe level 25, you accidentally level up 26. So yeah, sometimes leveling up can be a bit of a mixed bag uh, as far as like trying to get Pokemon into these tournaments. But anyway, you already uh, pretty much know like what to expect here since I already completed most of these. The Pika Cup you only had to compete in once. The Pika Cup you only had to compete in once. The Prime Cup you had to compete in four different times. And the Poker Cup you had to compete in four different times. I should probably also clarify this right now. As you see right here, the Prime Cup is comprised into four different balls, each representing each different Pokeball. Uh, same goes with the Poke Cup. Each of these balls is organized by, well, difficulty, as you can expect. Pokeball is the easiest. Great Ball is for those who are a bit tougher. Ultra Ball is for those who are 
sort of getting the hang of things, and Master Ball is for those experts, like myself. Although, I did screw up royally when it came to that lovely kiss in Jimmy Castle. But, we don't talk about such things. I digress. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to end up speeding through uh, the Poke Ball, the Grid Ball, the Ultra Ball, and just going to skip over to the Master Ball, to be honest. Since I'm already at that point where I'm already at the Master Ball, um, I, I, I just maybe want to just, you know, just, yeah, just do Master Ball, really. I might end up doing that because if I, if I do end up doing, like, six different, oh my god, I can't even imagine, like, oh, whatever. Uh so many decisions to make on the spot right now while the camera's rolling. Alright, you know what? Just for the sake of things, I am going to end up uh, just playing the Master Ball alone for Prime Cup and Poke Cup. Because, uh, just for the sake of like not being boring, I'm not going to do any of these here. Like I said, the pretty much the same exact uh, tournament only they're just at lower difficulties. And Master Ball is pretty much for those who are die-hard, you know, Pokemon trainers. Die-hard fans, experts at the games, you get the, you get the spiel. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Just one, uh, just maybe two videos for each tournament. So, yeah, like I said, I'm probably not going to end up recording for a while and just focus on, for one, editing the rest of the, uh, editing the rest of the episodes and just, uh, training my master teams. So, I'll see you guys very later. Um, if by any chance I happen to disappear for a while, fret not, I will get back to you. I promise.